as well. Let's go down here. Let's see, we've got speed patch, spine rotation, diagonal movement zero. We've got e camera patch. Don't need that. E and B. Don't need that. No vanilla rain. Oh yes, no vanilla rain. It's a bit of an issue. Yes, yes, it. I can't remember. But, um, that's all good. Table grass. Sleep mode shaders. Skin, night eye, grass, terrain, water, sky. depth of field on. Looks pretty cool. Colouring. Mm. <sighs> oh dear. Yeah, I'll have colouring on. Cinema. 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 No. Bloom, yes. Motion blur, definitely not. Precipitations, yes. Sharpening, no. Underwater, yes. Volumetric fog, uh, has some issues sometimes with certain things. And when I'm using better cities and unique landscapes, found to show certain issues. So I volumetric fog off. Hello, hello, whoever you are. Welcome to the stream that we're about to do. I've tweaked some things in Twitch settings, so should be able to do all the little bull crap that that's most streamers do these days. So, oh, what's that? Oh, yeah, that looks alright. I didn't mess around too much. I'm checking out Oblivion Reloaded settings. I will be starting the stream very so well, starting the game very soon. I'm just trying to find one little setting that involves testing. It needs to be off because if it's on, there's an annoying little. Um, I'm going to find it actually because I can't find it. Test. Ah, there you are. Test off. Almost starting. Save that. Um, night eye, yes, skin, HDR, terrain, yep. <laughs> Looks good. File, yeah, just save again. Good luck. And then we've got little cool things in this new controller mod which does more than just give you controller support it even gives you Skyrim style um, you know, what's it called um, camera and stuff so where is it where's the I oh, know it was here delay yep that's all good Here we go. Enhanced 360 movement.
in nice eight directional movement. True. Okay, so we want Skyrim, so we'll put it to one. Hopefully this does what I think it does. Oh no, we don't want Skyrim. We want number two. That looks even cooler. There we go. Save. Oh, hang on. Should check. Yep, yeah, that looks all good. It's nice and sexy. Um, that looks all good. All is working, nearly about to start, and I've got a new fresh install by the way. If you are if you've come here before, I've got a new installation of Oblivion. Things had to be fixed, mods had to be removed because certain mods were crap. Um, well, they were ambitious, but unfortunately, no bug fixes, so we can't have that. We're talking about bugs that crash the game, we can't have that. No. It's just, no, not playable in my opinion, and so I had to get rid of those mods. But we've still got better cities, unique landscapes, Oscuros, all that stuff. Let me just check for good measure. So I'll even check, actually this is good to check anyway to show what mods I've got installed. So um, we've got Rye Bash here. Rye, 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 we've got all that. Yeah, it's heavily modded. Not as heavily modded as some people would have it, but trust me, there is only a certain amount of plugins you can have in Oblivion without it going absolutely ape shit. You don't want it to become ape shit. Because if it is, then you can't play it. You gotta um know what mods you can have and can't have. And most people would say this mod list is just asking for trouble, but it's not because yeah, I've got that. All the ones that aren't installed obviously don't have a plus in them. Ones that are yellow mean that they've been overwritten safely by another mod. Ones that are green are just installed without any problem, well not problems, but without anything overwritten. Um, red means that they haven't been installed. These are just mods that are in sort of my miscellaneous now. I'm just like, I don't really need it. Um, got bash tags for mods, stuff like that. Okay, so we've, so I should have a mod list. I really, I don't know how to do all this stuff yet. I'm, I'm getting new to Twitch, so I'm on, I'm new to Twitch, so I don't really know what to do. I need to make a paste bin of my um, or maybe screenshots or something of my of my mods that I'm using for yeah and anyway, I'll show you Oblivion mod manager that's red because I've already got that installed with Rybash I just keep it there because well, why not um, anyway so we've got Curti cleanup this helps clean up dead actors after a certain amount of time. Oblivion um, Vanilla uh, has a problem with that where after a certain amount of time of playing Oblivion um, your dead actors and clutter will bloat the save and that ends up happening. If this, is, this is why most people don't even bother with Oblivion anymore. This is why you know, they, they don't really know much about the modding scene with Oblivion, and because most of the people that do don't stream, it's sort of... I'm the only person, really, that can show, show you what you can actually do with Oblivion, unfortunately. I wish I... because I'm, I'm not... I've got eight followers, for crying out loud. I've got, like, 20 subs on YouTube, and so I know... I'm going to have to just keep at this strong to, to be able to bring Oblivion back to life. And that's basically what I want to do. 
we've got in the Imperial Legion, that's just a little mod, the bug fix mod too that um, adds to adds joining the Imperial Legion. Um, plug in refurbish, oh yes. No, anyway, we got all this. Uh, ref scopes are one that helps. Oh yeah, um, hang on. Uh, dragon low low poly grass. So low poly grass, obviously low poly grass. If you know what polygons are, they're basically what makes a mesh more detailed. The more polygons, the more detailed and good looking something will look. But this mod removes some of the polygons and re sort of redoes the meshes without making the grass look so crap so so this this mod is good um it just it just puts that gives it that oblivion that little edge that stops it from stuttering a lot um even though i could probably get away with vanilla grass but sometimes you just have to make sacrifices you know you have to um you have to learn a lot of you have to just accept that with Oblivion, even when you have stabilized it to the point where it's not crashing. Uh, realistic leveling, oh, realistic leveling is an awesome, awesome leveling mod. It's my favorite. Um, there are very good other leveling mods, like one by Mascar, which fixes the problem entirely with the leveling problem in Oblivion. Um, called Ultimate Leveling. He's absolutely awesome, Masker. He he really really knows how to script. He's an awesome modder. He's always um, always active. Um, he's he he just that's all he wants to do is is mod. He's he's an awesome guy. Um, I praise him a lot. Put it in its place. I'm not even using Masker's Oblivion Overhaul when I'm saying all this, but. The reason, yeah, I could, but I'm worried that if I do add it with all these other mods, Oblivion might destroy itself. Maybe not. Maybe if I can fig figure out the configuration, but after this, I'm going to do this uh, role-playing sort of thing. Oh, whoa, whoa. yeah, role-playing. Um, so put it in its place, enhance scrubbing anyway. That mod, what it does is um, quite simple. Um, Oblivion has a problem with um, grabbing. So if you were in a Skyrim, you know how you hold the um, activation button down and it will grab an item and you can move it around and someone will say, oh, what are you doing that for? Or some, put it back or something like that. But no one arrests you, right? Well, in Oblivion that happens. People will arrest you. A guard will psychically know somewhere in the world somebody's touching an item that isn't owned by that person and they will run at you like terminator and arrest you so and there's nothing you can do about it in oblivion that's the way the crime system works in oblivion terminator will come after you and he will be an oblivion npc there's nothing you can do you have to destroy him <laughs> oh oblivion <laughs> Um, Night Eye Shader, this is a very cool, very old, 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 old mod that um, changes, oh yes, we're going to be a vampire, that's uh, spoilers, but yeah, we're going to be a vampire, this is going to be a vampire playthrough. I was having fun with the last, um, the other character, my muscly orc, um, that was good, but there was a pro big problem with um, having um, your actors, your characters be very muscly because obviously there's no, unfortunately, when you have that mod, um, even though it's part of a very popular mod, most people don't use it and therefore there's no mods to um, edit the uh, vanilla um, armors and clothes to make every NPC look buff. And uh, unfortunately, you wear most of the 99% of the gear and clothing would will look slender, will look normal, vanilla. So it looks, it's a bit silly. So I just take off these clothes, and suddenly I become He-Man. So it's a bit, yeah, it's a bit, bit, you know. 
Link, Link is a good mod. That, well, it's not really a mod, but um, what it does is it works kind of like, um, oh, it's hard to explain, but it does something very cool. Basically, this is a, a something that Masker made, because uh, he's awesome. Masker made this, and what it does is... <coughs> It allows you to edit any files. It allows you to edit um, settings of a mod in game. The thing is, it's fairly new, so lots of mods and unfortunately don't have the script to allow. But a lot of mod mod modders have added that script into their mods, so so it can be compatible with Link. Um, so you can edit settings in there it's made it a lot easier for modders to be able to you know um but some modders don't like doing that because they feel that their mods should be the like i don't know they feel a bit funny about their mods you know they're a bit they're a bit protective you know so not all modders are going to add link support but it's 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 it makes it easier for other modders to, that don't know how to make an any file basically um, yeah so that's the mods in here I would go through the mods on Rybash but we're just going to be here forever because I'm using a lot of mods so let's get started and let's hope it doesn't crash <laughs> oh dear I shouldn't have said that So far, so good. Mm -hmm. Quickly get out of that screen because that's copyright, unfortunately. Don't understand why it is. But for some reason, Twitch thinks, oh, no, no, you can't have that. You know? It just doesn't make any sense. It's I an old game. 87 years ago. Ancient. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. Yeah, uh, we'll skip that. Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. That will fix itself. Uh, when I change the race. And we got a crash. Yay! That didn't happen before. But it happened this time. Lovely. Maybe because I did something different. Let's try that again. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. That didn't happen before, I just changed the race. And, yeah. <laughs> Seriously? It worked before. I did do something a bit different when I did that, but yeah, we'll see. Oh dear. Oh dear. Skip. Okay, Imperial. Good. Oh, thank the nine. Okay. We're not using muscles anymore because obviously I explained it. Um, there's a bit of a problem. There, well, there is muscles, but they're not oh, so huge. Um, like, yeah. So what race will I be? Hmm. That looks pretty cool. Notice that there's something a bit different about his face. You'll notice very so slightly that he looks a bit like the Oblivion, the vanilla Oblivion NPC... Um, and that's because I'm using Oscura's Oblivion Overhaul. No, Oscura's. A character. <laughs> Oblivion Character Overhaul Compatibility Edition, which removes the very sexy sort of face gen that it came with, which unfortunately made it very, very incompatible with pretty much any NPC 
that wasn't intended to have this mod so all this guy did was remove that he found, he diagnosed the issue no one knew for years with this very good mod um, character overhaul why it was so incompatible with everything well it was because it was and people thought oh it was because of blockhead and all this it wasn't it was because of the face gen that it came with let's just hope to God that everything is fine oh good where's the maskin? I've only got Dramora here well if I wanted to it can be a Dramora but there should be maskin and um you know, the seducers and golden saints. Why is only Tremora here? Well, that's just lovely, isn't it? It's not working properly. I know why. It's because I've got a Skira's Oblivion Overhaul Shivering Isles version. I've got the Skira's Oblivion Overhaul Triple O. And it's completely independent of Skira's, but it works like Skira's. And obviously it does things too to other mods that make it yeah. so I don't even know if golden saints and seducers have eyes coming out here so because that's what happened one time when I when I yeah oh dear so Argonian uh, would like to be a wood elf red guard no hardly ever be a red guard suppose why not they're pretty good not very popular but I don't know might make like a I'm thinking about what I had a really cool idea well that's the thing if a red guard was to become a vampire they wouldn't like it I don't think red guards would like being a vampire they wouldn't accept it. Orcs probably wouldn't either. Um, Nord, yes, but Khajiit definitely. And what the? What? What's going on with the Imperial? Wait, what's going on? He looks different. Something's going on. And there's no sound, because that's a Skiris Oblivion Overhaul. No, why do I keep saying that? Um, it's it's Oblivion Reloaded Light, and it does a few things that if it has a few oddities. He looks like a Breton, and he has green eyes. It doesn't even make sense. I want to be. High Elf, if you be a vampire, High Elf, oh, you're asking for trouble. Fire will just destroy you. But if I be a Dramora vampire... Oh, no, I can't, because... Yeah, I'm using a, mo a mod that makes vampirism awesome. Hence its name, Necanimal's Awesome Vampire Mod. I'll be a Nord. Female Nord. Uh, female Nord. Maybe Breton, no Breton. Yeah, Breton female. Oh, I could be an Arconian. What do you think I should be? Uh, if you want to put it, put a suggestion in the chat. What I should be? What would a vampire? Sort of a nice vampire race would be be interesting if I was um, if I was an Argonian oh dear I just forgot about something uh, about the vampire thing I forgot to put 
put in the DLL because I was testing a mod for an author and he told me to remove a DLL that fixes the vampire thing with the aging and I removed the DLL because he told me to because this new version of the mod um, was or already has that so maybe I'll just continue making the character and then when I'm finished making the character I will um, yeah there's a few things I have to do um, sorry but it won't be long I'll, I'll just have to plop the DLL into the OBSC plugins folder and then I'm done on oh, maybe maybe delete the I and I of oblivion in my games folder it, it, it's nothing um, uh, got the Breton here um, Amber make her very pale, unnaturally pale, so what we're going to do, make her young, she's going to be, uh, she's got a bit of fat lips, and she's too old, oh no, maybe complexion, no that doesn't really do anything either, that's obviously a ghost. <laughs> oh, we'll work something out. Well, she's going to be a vampire, so I want to make her look like an undead, you know, seductive sort of, you know, we'll have fun. Um, amber eyes, doesn't really matter what her eyes co eye colour is, but it looks like she only has amber eyes, which is a little bit concerning. I literally can't change her eye colour. Um, why? Oh dear. Um, so, don't worry. She's not going to... When in this little interior that I'm in, this um, mod that, um, you know... Uh, Actually, it could be the load order. I just realised. Yeah, I changed the load order. Might be that. No, it doesn't matter. It's working, so who cares? I don't really care what her eye colour will be anyway, because she's going to be a vampire. So, um... So, her hair colour... I reckon the old, typical, sort of gothic vampire girl so I think that that hairstyle's nice. Windbound kind of that bun twist. Ah okay. So it's brown. Cropped, obviously not. Loose, eh, it looks too casual. This one looks, just doesn't look nice at all. This one is military, no, natural. Looks nice, but it's not really what a vampire woman would look like. Ah, kind of this hairstyle. Yes, now I'm liking it. Okay. So, obviously I can't look from here, so we'll look, uh, look at the colour from here. Uh, maybe length. Should she have short hair or long hair? What do you reckon? very long. Mm. 
looks a bit yeah. Oops. So we will make it black. Cool. Oh no. No. We will make it red. Make her a red headed vampire woman that looks. Yeah, no, I've got no idea. Bright copper, perhaps. Oh, very nice. Oh no, what do you reckon? Oh. Gray. I think the lighting in this interior is really bad, so obviously this is not looking very good. Yeah, I think I think red. Urban copper. Well, where was bright? Oh, bright copper. Okay. I want to see in the actual. I hate the lighting is always terrible. I don't know. I'm thinking a bit, perhaps a bit darker. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's good. I'm happy with that. Um, no idea what her name would be. Maybe Christmas, Christmas um stuff. <laughs> Look at this. Look how much chocolates. <laughs> Supposed to share them? Nah. <laughs> no. <laughs> they were given to me. So, obviously, the person intended for me to absolutely destroy my weight. Anyway. Um, what her name would be? What's her name going to be? Um, Rebecca? Sounds very normal. Um, I don't know much about the law when it comes to Bretons. Uh, but a vampire, you know, I can just call her Rebecca. What am I talking about? Man. Um... think of Lola, but sounds doesn't sound like a vampire. Oh no, here comes Lola. <laughs> vampire. Uh, it's an ancient name. You need an ancient name. Because, yeah, that's a little, I might have to do a bit of that. <sighs> Off camera. Um, I'm just going to put it in. Sorry, but low load is. There we go, and let's fiddle around with the face. So, obviously, this face looks good, but. We want to change some things because we want it to look like a vampire that, you know, and I actually I like the amber, her amber eyes. Honestly, I would have picked that anyway, so that's another good thing. Um, so we will go 
to face shape and I saw in another stream this guy said the best thing to do to make make them all look very normal is to put everything sort of in the middle so neutral so you just maybe that's there makes them look very normal looking not that this mod already makes them look normal but I want to make her look exceptional obviously obviously she doesn't look exceptional right now but we'll get to that face looks a bit too thin there kind of like very plain looking right now but don't worry she will she will look better later we'll start tinkering first um, so chin yeah well, I'll take that chin eyes Once everything's in the middle, after after that, you can basically do what you want. Um, you know, you can. There's a lot more here. Jaw. Then's when you can start um, actually editing the face the way you want to do eyes forehead She really only cares about herself. Um, 
so that's what she really cares about. Um, mouth, nose. So her, her morals are going to be very, you know, grey area best. You know. But, you know, she will... She's not all that bad. She's likeable in some way. She's very seductive, very charming. And I'm, I always make them charming because I know how to how to um, uh, make anyone like me in this game, which is great if you want to be a seductive vampire. Because, yeah, and I don't even need to make that a major skill. In fact, I won't. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, maybe I will make it a major skill. It's not, it doesn't affect. No, it won't because it doesn't affect. I won't go around just like being an absolute, you know, people pleaser, trying to make everyone like me. I'm not going to do that. Um, uh, maybe if it, maybe if it like really affects. Uh, anyway. Maybe if it really affects, like, the the immersion of the... Like, you know, because a Better Cities adds NPCs that have a problem with their disposition. They all have very, very low personality for some reason. They're not really made very well. And, you know... Um, but anyway. Some people who are supposed to be nice, you can tell, are supposed to be nice and very enthusiastic about what they're selling... Um, will hate you, um, even though their dialogue is very friendly and very nice. That's a typical Oblivion thing, though, but I don't really like it. I, I will make them like me if I think they're likable, or they're supposed to be likable. Okay, so we've got... Uh, Alright, so, brow ratio. We want her to look... I can't actually change the brow. Anyway, the face. Oh no, that's the face. Oops. So. That's better. Let's see what this does. 
Ah, this change is a very different thing. sort of, but her yeah, pronounce and think the cheekbones are a little bit too wide. Ugh. It's hard to see with this bloody lighting. Lighting is crap. Like if she was facing this way, I'd be able to see a little bit better, but oh dear. Um, uh, take this down that up. There we go. There we go. That's better. I'm just going to leave it there now. She's gaunt enough. I don't want to make her look too gaunt because once she's a vampire, she will look even gaunter, especially when she's hungry. So, that was cheeks. Chin. I think the chin is good. I don't really want to do much with the chin. I don't think... Oh, maybe the jaw needs oh, hang on. Just do to anything too crazy. That's the thing. You don't want to do it because, you know, she'll end up looking just strange if you do that. So, eyes. Uh, I reckon, you know, big, nice eyes. Um, it doesn't really matter if they're up or down, so I'll leave that. Uh, huh, that's interesting. If I make her eyes being stuffed it. Oh, man. Make sure this controller doesn't... Uh, looks alright. She looks a little bit too... like she's not seductive. surprised.
now for her mouth, that's a thing, it's, it's going to be a bit tricky. Her mouth looks good, honestly. Maybe I'll leave it, and her nose looks good too. I think it's just best just to leave these things. Now I'll just, um, plus I'm a bit lazy, I don't really care. <laughs> I do care, but no, you know. We want to make it look a little bit blue. She looks dead, you know. So... There we go, that's better. She looks dead, so... Without it being a seam, without it, the um, because if you make them too light, they will glow, and you don't want that, because then she looks like some sort of angel, and you don't. She's not an angel. She's the, the opposite of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, thing I tell you it's you can make them dark or light but you can't actually change the color so I'm just gonna leave them so that's pretty stupid I don't understand why they don't allow you to change the color of the brows because Obviously, if you have a certain colour hair, you should have, you know... Oh, then again, there are people with dark eyebrows and this colour hair, so perhaps it'll be okay. Let's make them dark. Yeah, that's better. What do you reckon? Does she look mean? I don't know, she looks a little bit, not really, you can't really understand, when you look at her face, I get the feeling like I'm puzzled, like I don't know what to expect from her. Witty, honestly, she looks witty. And there we go. And then when she exits and goes outside, she looks like crap. That's basically what Oblivion does. So, let's... Well, done. Yes. Okay. <coughs> and the music starts. So, she has willpower and endurance. Um, yep. Obviously, because she's a vampire, she should have willpower, you know. Um, I like Spell Sword because it's, it's the closest or sorcerer that has intelligence. Spell Sword is better. We will not pick this class. Isn't the music nice, eh? I love the music. Um, we will specialize. Well, since she's a vampire, you would naturally want a magic to be specialized. Yeah, I'll specialize in magic. Willpower, endurance, alteration. Wait. Well, what is she going to find in her? Shield... I don't know. I'll, I don't know. 
She's gonna fix her own armor. She's gonna be a uh, heavy armor, actually. I want to make. I like her heavy armor in this game. Obviously, I'm gonna have to be heavy armor. She's gonna join the legion. Spoilers. Um, but yeah, <laughs> she's going to do that. Spells, breathe water, walk on water, stuff like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Alteration, it is. Um, armor, blade, yes. Block. Mm, we don't want to pick too many physical things because she's going to rely on magic a lot. So we, we're probably going to pick destruction so I'm be with conjurer I'm not good at con using conjuration I never think of oh I'm just gonna summon this skeleton and I'm just going to battle it out with this skeleton and it's all gonna be great with this skeleton and all this zombie or this scamp it's not very useful for me uh, I should get a mod I should have got a mod that gave a bit more summons and stuff but eh I've never been one for followers or summoned creatures. Never been one for that. I like being a lone wolf. Hmm. So, illusion. Oh! Illusion! <laughs> oh, yes. Um, yes, I'm going to have to pick the illusion, even though it's probably intelligence. But, I'm going to have to pick illusion. Because she's a vampire. Um, light armor, you'd probably think, oh yeah, vampire light armor, but no, they're a heavy armor, vampires are just not as, <laughs> you know, they're not as, uh, what's it, um, they're not as, um, common, but they, they do exist. Who ever said they have to wear light armor anyway? Oh, yeah, I'm a vampire. I have to pick leather. Anyway. Light armor, maskman. Her agility should be good, because she's a vampire, but nah. We won't care about those things. It doesn't really matter. Um, mercantile. Obviously, should be good at mercantile, but... Again, it's not a... You've got to be careful with the way you level in this game. Because, you know, even if you have a leveling mod, you still should care. So, mysticism, cast, spells, absorb, reflect, dispel, magic. I'm just going to be good at restoration. Oh, that's all the spells I can pick. Ah. So, well, illusion. Yes, I'm going to need illusion so then she charms people. Not just with talking, but just like, ah, oh. so, get information out of them. I'm pretty much happy with this. So, she's, oh, she should be sneaky though, because she's a vampire. Good at getting into bloody doors too. That's good for alteration. Maybe she, oh, but I need armor up, because obviously I need to repair my own gear. Destruction, she needs that. A heavy armor, illusion. Dang it! Ah! How can she be bad at sneaking? Doesn't make sense. What do you reckon? Ditch illusion for sneak? I reckon. Sneak. Restoration. The reason why I choose restoration is because there's no, for some reason, in Oblivion, restoration spells work on vampires. Why they should, I don't know, but maybe with this mod it changes that, which will make me go, ah. Oh, that means I shouldn't have picked Restoration, I probably should have picked Conjuration, but who knows. 
Um, anyway. So, yep. Call it... Vampire. Ah. Oh. What would you be your class? It has to be. Oh. Shadow Spike. Shadow Spike. Damn it! Nothing you can ever put in here fits. If I had that nice, um, yeah. Can't put Dark Spike. Black spike. Like she's a knife. Can't fit it. Shadow. Mm. I just call it shadow. Oh, Jesus. Shadow. Oh. spell it obscure I didn't even put C Ob obscure it's a long word anyway no this is gonna I just want her to you know it doesn't matter but I Oh, I'm very OCD about this. I'm very OCD about this. Stealth cloak. Ah! It's always one more that I need to put in. <laughs> Stealth bitch. <sighs> oh, bloody no. I'm never good with the class. I'm never good with the names either. Oh, uh, well. Spell sword it is. But I like to be... I like it to seem law friendly. You know, that's the problem. And... It, does it fit? Is it law friendly? Is it sexy? Does it sound good? And when you when you when you um yeah anyway done yeah spell sword she is. Should she be rich? A rich vampire? Yeah, I would say so. She's pretty old. Yeah, vampires in Cyrodiil are rich. They usually are. Unless they're in caves. Or given into their instincts, as Janice Hasseldor says. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's exactly what I hoped for. Hey? Hey, isn't that good? You know it's good, baby. Look at that. That is awesome. 
That is awesome to have Oblivion like this. Oh, I can... Oh, that's so good. Better than Scooby Snacks, you know? This makes me want to actually... You know, um... Use third person more. Like, I can actually look at her... You know, and fight. You know? Oh, that's awesome. How awesome is that? Oh! Oh, farted. Oh. So good. <laughs> anyway, let's get over this. Um, let's... Uh, uh, so, enable, uh, light of dawn, disable, I'm just worried it's too ambitious, disable that too, um, yep, better cities, now I heard from a modder that better cities NPCs are not very well made, so it's Probably best to have the um, as much inactivity in the cities as possible. Not only is it better for frame rate anyway and stuttering, um, it's it's just better overall. So, and a lot a lot of very silly stuff happens when you um, have everything unlimited um, because I've tested it and. NPCs just die for stupid reasons because of glitches, you know? Because Oblivion is not obviously ha handle it can't handle too many NPCs going going around. Anyway. Hide core to have it you don't want yeah there we go perfect about four saves there we go secure is oblivion oh yeah I've done that SM plug oh yes the most sexy mod of all of them oh yes <laughs> um yeah, level three, who cares? Uh, or are we... <sighs> Won't be able to do that with the Skewers of Oblivion Oval until we get to level 36 or some shit. Won't really, I'll just... Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll fit it in the story at some point. Um... Uh, the Devil's... No, not the Devil's. The Thieves' Den. <laughs> the Devil's Den. Um, the Thieves' Den, that's probably... Uh, we'll pick... 25. Maroon's Razor, that will be level 10. I'm, I like to think... Even, the, you know, it doesn't really matter. So, if she will hear about it when she's level 5 and think... I would like to go there one day when I'm stronger in battle. So, that doesn't really matter. Vile Lair. Um, hold your horses, Vile Lair. Um, cursor thing. Uh, Vile Lair. You have to be a pretty high level to do it anyway. So, because it's actually quite difficult. Um, so, with the Skuros, it's probably going to be harder. Probably not, because it doesn't require the... Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. I uh, don't really care about Violet. Fighter's Stronghold... Yeah, maybe 30, yeah, um, Knights of the Nine, ha ha ha, yes, 
Knights of the Nine, will a vampire ever actually think, oh, should I do this noble quest? And yeah, maybe, maybe she will. Maybe she won't cure her vampirism though, and just think, maybe, you know, I might save the, save the day. Um, yeah, it's just, I'm going to keep it at 70 for now. Because I don't re I can't think of a good excuse for her to do the Knights of the Nine. Or for it to ever happen. Let alone the main quest, actually. That's the beauty of these mods. I don't have to do the main quest until I want it to be done. Until I want it to start, you know. And Vamp the Emperor is going to be alive for as long as I want him to be. Basically. With this mod, it's so good. Shivering Isles. Oh, yes. We're going to have that at 10 maybe one day she will just decide you know what it's time to go to the shivering isles oh yes we're gonna go to the shivering isles let's hope their eyes aren't out here um, because if that happens I have to fix it, and I don't know how. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> um, send plug-in refurbished light. Okay, I did that. What else? Link. Okay, we're all done. Yep. Now we save. We're not done yet. Hang on. Just one thing. Need to sort the gamepad. This is going to be very disorientating to play Oblivion like this. This is so cool, man. Mm. Now it matters, you know. That's better. Don't want it to be. Maybe she's a mage, on you? I like my games to have Yep, I know. It's 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 abhorrent in the eyes of many. Um but I liked it to be in to be inverted. Because I grew up on very old Nintendo sixty four games and back then on default everything was inverted and I've you know, it's it was natural for me as well as using a controller. <laughs> oh yes. I'm very controversial, but it's me. It's the way I like to play. Yay. So we've got a problem with the inversion. Oh, that's that's just the that's just the bloody We'll get rid of that. Oh I don't know. Oh dear. That that wasn't an issue before. It's got an issue with the camera. Oh I know what's going on. Yes, I'm gonna have to remove it's incompatible. <laughs> it's incompatible with um with the fake camera first person camera so I'm gonna have to make it vanilla again that's okay I can just turn that off in the settings so we'll just we'll just make it third person save again 
Hell yeah. What's this for music again? I think it's Witcher 2. I think it's one of the Witcher games. I think it's the first one. Maybe the Witcher 2, yeah. Oh, it's good. <laughs> uh, how does she look anyway? Yeah, she looks a bit scary, honestly. She does. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. I'm all enthusiastic for this. Oh, yeah. By the way, thanks for sitting through all this. <laughs> um, yeah, that would have been a little bit hard for most people. Most people would have left by now. You pr probably that guy in Nezradul or something. You could be him because only Nezradul would sit through all this. <laughs> Maybe not, but you know. Um, so, what were we doing? Okay, we put the disable vampire in there. Um, what else do we have to do? Ah, yes, the essentials. We want certain NPCs essential because, well, with the Skiris of Bleeding Overhaul, many NPCs will die from wildlife, and we don't want that. No, we do not. So what we do is we... Go to Rybash. <laughs> That's right, I want to open Rybash. <sighs> and we look for... We look for... So I don't understand why Oblivion Race is unlocked is not really working. The only thing I can think of is because it's the Shivering, Shivering Isles Eye Disabler. Maybe it's that. It probably is. Oh, I just realised, yeah, that might be a problem. Anyway, it doesn't matter. They might have vanilla eyes, and that's probably why they weren't appearing in the menu. Anyway, um, so we want to look for unique landscapes. There's the little devil, 35. Alright. List of all the NPCs I want essential. <laughs> See, this is the thing. There is NPCs in this, a lot of NPCs, added by mods or whatever, that will die for stupid reasons. And I don't like dead NPCs everywhere that, you know, I just feel like the, the world is more alive with more NPCs. So I don't want them to be dead, you know. If they're people, you know, that are supposed to be out travelling all the time, why would they just go out travelling without any knowledge of, you know, what what to be aware of, and, you know, I don't know, I just don't feel like, like, um, Todd Howard decided to make this certain Khajiit trader walk around Cyrodiil all the time without absolutely no weapons, so she just pretty much punches whatever she sees that is a threat and dies straight away, so that, that's just stupid. You know, and that, that loses me a good trader. So, you know, gotta, gotta make them essential.
duty save and this last one needs to be let's find out what it is City's cruel, losing my religion. Oh yes, we're losing, using, using my religion. Don't worry, it wasn't in the stable or anything, as far as I know. So we're still using that. Um, what we're using, what we're finding for is this is the one. Forty-five. Five and forty-five. How's that? Now I have to go to the toilet and do a pee. Be right back. Oh, this is going to be so good. Oh, wait. There's one more thing. There was something else I had to do. I had to put the DS the DLL in the plugins. I had to sort the essentials. I'll do a P, but I'll forget if I do a P. So, um, so one little thing going to Oblivion Reloaded. Here we go. Fake first person camera set to zero hopefully that works save and exit all right oh, this is gonna be good oh yes gonna be very good it's gonna be awesome be right back it's gonna do a tinkle just going to go make a tea um, very sorry about the, the wait but uh, I will I will be playing I'm just going to make a tea um, I really want a tea so yeah be right back
you for waiting. I'm just brewing the tea. I like my teas very strong. Um, so, let's see, I did the essentials thing. Everything's covered. I think it's all ready to play now. Ready to have fun. Ready to rock it. Ready to... Well, I've already been streaming for an hour and a half and I haven't done anything in the game. <laughs> Man, you are one patient person. Sorry about the fan, but you have no idea how hot it is in Australia. It is absolutely ridiculous during December. Um, it's going to get hotter too. It's going to get hotter as well. Basically, we can't have a first person. That's alright. There's no first person. It's not. It's not going into a skull. It's still. It's still bloody um, fake first person. That's as far as it gets in. I can't. Hang on, what's the key for first person in, um, let's find out. Okay. First from back forwards, attack, block, cast weapon. Sneak, run, auto move, always run, jump, uh, change view, ah, okay. No, nope, it's not working. Hang on, let's see if it actually works at all. Okay, it is supposed to work, but for some reason, it's not. Should I just have the fake first person, even though it's a little bit strange? Yeah. That's alright. Anyway. Set. Time. Scale. To. Ten. go all of them registered everything's good to go everything's nice and awesome save again person. Sorry, but I'm going to turn that off. I mean, I'm going to turn it on. That won't take long. Uh, <clears throat> no, I need a first person because I just tried to sort of, yeah, it was too hard to do, so. I had this apple in the fridge 
have these like really nice sweet crisp, app crisp apples in the nice cold fridge and in a summer's day summer's night I should say having that was just the best and that tea should be ready now um, sorry about this but <laughs> thank you for being patient with me um, where's the fake first person I know it's here somewhere oh here we go ah wait a minute we've got other settings here I'm going to have to fiddle around, I think. Play idle hook. Wondering what this does. I don't want to mess around with it. Oh, should I? Nah, nah, nah. You've waited long enough to see some oblivioning. So, we will just put the fake first person on and call it a day. message from got a message from someone on discord let's just check discord where is it okay. um, of a problem doing that but hang on yeah it's a bit of a, a bit of an issue I've got to try and turn off the camera bobbling yeah because you know <laughs> oh dear you can't have everything eh I'll tell you what you can't have everything in oblivion okay finish I will become a vampire the way the modder intended me to become a vampire, so no. I'll basically get catch vampirism. Imperial City. There we go. And she goes to the Imperial City, ready to see some amazing stuff. I didn't uh, turn up the bloom. I love turning up the bloom, and I didn't do it. Mm. That's okay. Do it next time, eh? Takes a bit of while. rainy day and the vampire girl has arrived she is awesome the mods are awesome everything is awesome and I'm awesome and you're awesome so yeah So what am I going to do first? She's just arrived. That's the thing I do. She's just arrived. And... 
she is going to absorb our people's health. No, she's going to do, not do that. Um, So, convalescence. Oh, I love that music. Lots of useful spells here. Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Sea stride. Okay. Hi there. Hello. Make you essential. Make you essential. I have to make everyone pretty much essential in here. I have to. Because if I don't, silly things happen. Probably wondering what's with the sky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The sky is a little surprise for this Bolivian Reloaded Light, and you're gonna see wondrous, wondrous skies. Um, gotta just che check something. Don't need the last three today. I see you. Hello. I see you. What? Okay. It's still rain outside. I see you. Hello. <laughs> It's just, yeah. Why am I so short? Have a copy of the Black Horse Courier. It's the only way to get the real news. Feature story on the Grey Fox. That's a little thing they, it's a little animation that's pretty rare to see. My tea. Be right back.
is a nice tea. Just regular tea, you know, English breakfast stuff. It's got the black tea with a bit of milk in it. Why? What is this? Huh? Oh, you know, something tells me I should just look at the scenery. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the music. And I want to have a look at the scenery. Oh. Isn't that good? tea's good. That is the best tea I've made in a long time. It's like brewed perfectly. Perfect amount of milk. Oh. oh, some vanilla music. Oh, look at that.
No, Wolf, you ruined everything. Have some of that. Yeah, bye bye. Scared of me now, aren't you? Stupid Wolf. Ruin the music. Oh well, plenty of good music. Something tells me I just don't want to bother. That's enough venturing out. Oh, there's a little deer. Hello, Mr. Deer. Miss Deer, or whatever. I think the deers are females. Beautiful. Oblivion is just awesome. Except when this happens. But, um, let's get out of that. It's just, you know, something I've got to fix. I don't know how, but, yeah. There we go.
can have a look at a... Uh... Hello there. I am clearly not a vampire, don't worry about me. She's gonna get bitten by a vampire, but we're gonna look, ignore that. Because... Yeah. Um, she's already a vampire. There's reasons why I needed to her for her to be um, a what? regular human for now because only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? Why is her head? Why is the back of her head showing? I'm leaving reloaded light. I tell you. Ah. things I've got to test. Raisin bread. She's not gonna she's gonna have a browse. Take care. I did it again, didn't I? Does that mean oh, hang on. What can I do for you? Bye. Puts me in first person camera mode. Oh man. Oh shit. I'm gonna have to turn it off. It's really annoying. I have to do something about that. So it means every time I barter with someone or talk to them, basically it's gonna go in first person mode. Which is very annoying. Oh yeah, um, it's silent because the, some of the tracks have silence for about five minutes after the music's complete, and so yeah, it's usually just the um, the Daggerfall music. And there's no sound, obviously, it's, um, because Oblivion Reloaded Light again has a few oddities. So that means the fountain will probably be silent as well. Oh, how interesting. I just drank tea. Is it necessary that you speak with me? It's... well, you see, here's the thing. She is not a person that would dislike anyone. She's one of those NPCs, again, that are very, you know, nice. Um, so... Mordav... Personality 40. Here we go. Hello, and welcome to my little cafe down here in the tunnel. Find a seat, and I'll get you a nice hot cup of my sweet tea. You make it yourself? Do you make it yourself? I most certainly do. I have the tea leaves shipped in from the Somerset Isles and I brew it here, right in the cafe, using fresh spring water. Now, if you'd like, you can drink your tea plain, or you, you can have it with some fresh sheep's milk or some light cream I whipped up just this morning. Huh? Can I interest you in some of my wares? She's not going to buy any of this. She's a vampire. Oh, I don't know. Maybe she's not a vampire yet. Because she's not going to be hungry. So, yeah. Maybe maybe she's not a vampire yet. So, she's, got, she's feeling, you know, she wants some tea. So, yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah, that makes more sense. Because, um, you know, I can't just... Yeah. Uh, sweet brewed tea. Yeah, she's going to try some of that. And maybe, um... Sheep's milk? I wonder how that tastes. Having tea with sheep's milk. Must be good. I wouldn't make that deal with just anybody. Because the person that made the mod, obviously, you know... I appreciate your business. Take care. neutral with me now. <laughs> I 
Anyway, uh, she's going to drink her tea. Well, there's a few oddities, that's for sure. Um, I can't actually move the camera that much. That's not meant to happen. Definitely because of my mod. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's just looking off to the side a little bit, doesn't matter. Let's just drink our tea. Oh, I've got ten repair hammers. Oh yes, I have, um... I have book jackets. Book jackets mod. That's what I'm talking about, my friend. Um, sheep's milk, so... There we go, she had a nice tea. Sipping it, mm, very nice. Oh, yes, if I do say so myself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> How are you? Feeling fancy. A nice tea. And uh, she's going to be. She's a bit curious in. You know, she's a bit curious in um, the religion that they. You know. Hey, you. Blast. Last are you who have come to me for guidance in these dark times. For you and you alone have had the courage to accept the love of the divines into your heart. For that alone shall be your salvation. Wait, what? I haven't done anything. Rise. Rise up, my child. For today you have been saved. Saved from the terrible fate of all those who shun themselves from the light of the righteousness. The nine divines smile upon those who would walk the path of justice and good. And today you have just taken your first step down this path. This holy path of blinding light. I'm going to walk away now. Leave, leave if you must, but if you leave, you are not only leaving myself, but your destiny, your fate, even the nine divines themselves. If you leave this day, you leave behind this chance for redemption. The path you take now is the path that will lead to your place of arresting for eternity. Only oblivion awaits for you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she's feeling a bit. Oh, is this how everyone's? Is this how crazy their religion is? <laughs> she's like wondering now uh, if she should go into a chapel. So that you see how the, yeah, this is this working out. Um, this is the crazy um, physics of. So after a while, um, all of these robes will start stretching and looking like rubber being, you know, stretched in all sorts of strange directions. Hang on, let me see if... Yep, it's still working. This is certainly a welcome change. You don't see too many customers this far down in the waterfront tunnel. Really? It's a very convenient tunnel. Um, Let's do business. Just has some vanilla robes. What robes was she? Ooh, 105 gold. Yes, I mean, I'm rich, but do I really want to spend my money on robes? <laughs> I don't know. Some robes here that are very hard to come by. <coughs> I wouldn't make that deal with just anybody. Thank you. Come again. Oh, she hates me too. Take care. Okay. That doesn't matter. And after a while, these shields, only these three shields, will come out and place themselves um, on, the, uh, on the stone floor. I knew it. It's going to be silent. I bloody knew it. What are we going to do about this man? You know? Why 
Coast Courier. How are you? I've been better. I've I don't like better. you and don't want to talk to you. <laughs> be quick about this or find someone else to talk to. Well, that would, that would um, make him go into suicide, wouldn't it? It's a suicide, suicide now. <laughs> How are you? I've been better. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. Oh, yeah. How are you? Yeah, their bodies look pretty good. Some, some mod I'm using. Oh yeah, their feet. Uh, let's see if their feet look too big. They do not. That's good. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> good afternoon. Good afternoon. Kajit. Kajit, uh, friend. Haha, <laughs> made you essential. Hell. Can I help you? Uh. We'll see. She's gonna get to know him. Yeah, she's good at talking. Uh, no. Let's just ask him about Imperial. Bernardo and Mauro Rufus? They don't get along. I don't understand it. I just make the armor and keep it in good shape. Bye. Nice. Let's have a look around shops. Oh yeah, she is she is just like in awe about this. Like she comes from a wealthy spot in Daggerfall. Um comes from a like she's she's never seen the capital of um Imperial City. And um yeah. This is quite a sight to see. She's quite impressed. You know, she wouldn't be in awe, but you know, she she'll be impressed. Probably not like that orc dude that came from uh what's there what's it? I can't remember what their home spot is called. Orsinium or something. Um but she comes from a pretty wealthy spot in um what's it called? Um What's it called? Daggerfall? The city in Daggerfall. You know? Empire's best tailoring. Tailoring. Oh, good. And it's honestly not that great. Even though the modder was very impressed with um, their mod. Um... It's really just uh, retextured vanilla clothing, but this one looks that she's wearing looks good. Welcome, welcome! You've come to the Empire's best tailoring, and that's not just a name. Our outfits are all lovingly made with only the finest hands and years of experience. Who is this seamstress here? Seam, se seamstress here. All right. Why me, of course. I've been designing dresses and outfits since I was a teenager, and I know all the ins and outs of crafting the perfect outfit. Not only is the best not not only is the best skill necessary, but only the finest threads and silks are put into my creations. I simply will not allow a second best, and that is what makes me the finest seamstress in the Imperial City. What about Pelineria? That filthy harlot wouldn't know it cross-stitch if I sewed her great big mouth shut with it. Her skill is a mockery to those of my profession. I am of a completely different league compared to her, and don't let her say otherwise. Right, okay. So she's got... May I interest you in some of my fine wares? It's quite pompous. Um...
another satisfied customer. No, I'm pretty satisfied. Make it quick. Uh, yeah. She doesn't mind the odd, you know. Is no. You should be ashamed. She's quite used to dealing with pompous Re people. Re is that so? So she gets on with them, sort no. of. Re get up. Oh, please. That works for me. Doesn't get on with them, but you know, she just she understands what you know how to butter them up and everything. Oh dear. Right. Be seeing you. Be seeing me. And... Right, so let's get out of this ridiculous fake first person. And let's put on some nice clothes. Oh, right. Is she going to get changed here? I don't think so. She's a lady. She's going to find a place to rent. She's going to rent a room. Oh, this is interesting. She's going to wander in the house. That's open to her. Oh, that's already something. Greetings, Breton. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, this... Oh, dear. Don't know why this is. I've seen this guy before. He is a poorly made NPC. He, you know, he's so poorly Hello. made that his colour is undead. And he actually looks very scary if he wasn't missing his pants and shoes. But he actually looks frightening. Oh dear. What? Good day. Uh, don't really want to make him essential. Uh, he's supposed to be rich. Yeah. Um... Got a book here. I think that book was meant to. Oh, that's interesting. Is this a reference to? It's obviously a reference to some game. Um, some sort of game. Um. Oh, this is interesting. Yes. Yes. Make it quick. I'm just looking at your fine stuff, my scary friend. Oh, man. Oh, dear, though. Let's get out of here. This place is haunted. He's haunted. I don't want anything to do with him. Uh, she's going to just rent a room now, and, um... Uh, she should... Since she's rich, she's only accustomed to nice, um, inns, so... She's probably going to... She's probably going to go in the King and Queen Tavern, because, you know, it's not too expensive, because... Oh... Uh, She's gonna ask about about it. How can I help you? Can I ask you? You're modded. Yep. She's the best in the city, and she'll teach others. It'll cost you though. Bye. Bye. Good to see you. What? Marinus Cadiotis. Ida of Lenormand and me, we're associates. Same interests, same styles. Okay. This city life is killing me. Work all day long, drop dead, and they toss you in Lake Ramar. 
just need to make my money at the arena and live easy. Really? <laughs> All right. He means gambling. Oh yeah. Seeing you. How can I help you? Do you know Mandel? I hear she's good with locks. Rumor has it that she'll teach others to make locks. Do you I need hear. something? Do you need something? What I'll is be it? happy to oblige. They're Bretons, obviously. Baron Sintav. Bonten Sintav. Okay. Greetings, fellow Breton. Dun 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 dun. I'm enjoying this modern oblivion. <laughs> oh wait. Oh, I think I missed it. King and Queen Queen Tavern is uh, just up here. Let's see, I'm looking here. Technically raining. Okay. Um. Welcome to the King and Queen Tavern. We treat all our patrons like royalty. I'm Le Marillin, your loyal seneschal. Seneschal. Don't even know what a seneschal is. What? Oh, it sounds fancy. I'm listening. A wealthy gentleman in the Talos Plaza district named Umbacano collects alien artifacts. Perhaps he has use for someone like you. Need a place to rest? I have a room available if you care to rent it for a night. Very well. Head up the stairs and it's the last door on your right. Sleep well. Ten gold? Good day. That's cheap for a for a place that claims to treat them all like royalty and they've got, you know, really nice seats. So I would imagine the beds should be, you know, um, nice, I suppose. Well, she's going to look at it and think, oh, yeah, this is clean. <laughs> I think it's a clean place. You know, it wouldn't be a royalty place. It's not really a royalty place, but, you know, they treat all their patients Patreons like pa pa patri 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 pastry like royalty. So there we go. Um, now she's going to get dressed into something better. Oh, she's gonna try it on and then just see. Oh, isn't that good? And she looks like hmm, she looks strange. She just. She just looks strange, honestly. This, I'm starting to realise now. Um, I made a strange character, I think. But she'd probably look better as a as a um, bloody um, vampire anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Good red hair. That's good. That's what I wanted. Okay, so she's wearing that. got her armor, white shoes, can't really see it anyway. Oh dear. went up. You can see, you can see the rain out there still. 
Oh. Yes. Well, she is like, well, I'm gonna put this robe over over my um, body because, yeah, probably should have chose a nicer robe than this, but I didn't want to exactly spend so much money. Looks nice anyway. Doesn't look too bad. All right, so maybe she'll check the library. She's like thinking to herself, let's check the library. Uh, it's just, um, probably know what this library is all about. If you've watched this before, my other characters. Uh, this library's up here. Um, and she goes in there. <laughs> Please find my book. <laughs> oh, let's find this person's book. Hello. I seem to have lost my diary in the stacks. Let me know if you find it, please. Please find my book. You'll receive a nice reward. Yep, I love this. I just love it. Thank you, modders. <laughs> okay. Uh, I never find this book. I never do. But now that I have book jackets, um, I might be able to, um, yeah, find it. I don't have book placement. Um, that mod is apparently very buggy, and I didn't want to use it anyway. But everything is so much nicer once you have book jackets. I really appreciate book jackets because for some reason in Morrowind everything had book, ja book jackets. But... Oh dear. I need a torch hotkey. Uh, she's not good at illusion. And illusion for some reason is lights and stuff. Um, so I'm going to have to use torches. Um, what can I live without? Maybe he's burden? Yeah. There we go. I won't need his burden that much. Hopefully I won't ever be over encumbered. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I will. Because I'm already wearing a full... I mean, not wearing, but carrying a full suit of armor. Um, so, yeah. Oh, not very really comfortable. I've got to get myself more cushions and stuff. Uh, let's find this book and receive a nice reward. I wish I had a torch. Oh dear. It's going to be... It's going to be a vanilla looking book. Uh, it's not going to have a book jacket obviously, so that, that's another reason why I got the book jacket mod, because I knew it would make this quest a lot easier. Assuming the book isn't in a dark place. Um, really wants to find this nice reward. Yeah. Oh wow. These book jackets are awesome. Um. Hello there. 
Hello there. This is essential. Yes. All right. All right. What can I interest? What? what can I interest you in? Oh, I see. I think I know what's going on here. You're supposed to not buy from her, but hand in your books. And it's a little thing that... Farewell. They probably tried to add in a system that sort of lets you borrow books, but they couldn't, so... Uh. Because if... If she had books in her inventory, you'd be able to get them for free. Um, they probably, well met. Yeah, to get them for free, but then you sort of owned them, but you're supposed to sort of stay in character and return them. And maybe for some reason the, the motto was just like, oh, let's just abandon this. It doesn't really work. Because I can't imagine, uh, you know... Think of, try and think of um, a scenario where you could effectively have um, books, you know, books in, um, borrowing books and lending books and stuff like that in a, in a game that wasn't intended to have that feature. <laughs> There'd be a lot of uh, scripting involved, um, and it probably wouldn't be easy to do. I'm not finding this vanilla looking book. I know what this book looks like too. It's um, one of those grey ones. It looks like a diary in fact. It looks like one of those plain looking grey diary books. And it's small. It's not big. Oh wow. The real Baron Zaya. Real Baron Zaya, Volume 3, Volume 1, Volume 2, and 4 and 5. Wow, the whole set is here. Oh man. Oh, this is uh, some vanilla books here. They're not really books, so kind of makes sense. Her book looks something like that, but it uh, doesn't have that label on there. So it looks something like this grey one here, um, and it won't have a book jacket because it's modded. So modded book. Seems like they tried to fit all these books on the shelf but sort of couldn't. But they put them all there anyway. That's pretty funny. Well, it's not in here. I can't find the book. Bloody hell, I can't, I can't... I can't find her book. I want to receive a nice reward. But I can't. I can't find it. Like, what is going on? Unless it's a vanilla book that's just renamed, but I doubt it because it's gonna have it's gonna have modded um, into it, like writing to it. So it should be like that. That's it. It looks like that, um, like that book. But that's Confessions of a Dumbass Schoolmate either. So Mega Prince. The arrow shot woman. The 
Darashat woman. I heard this story on good authority from a good and honest friend, whose friend was witness to the incident. I do truly believe it happened, as fantastical as it may seem. My friend's friend, Taryn, <laughs> okay, it's one of these things, was in, was visiting the elsewhere city-state of Riverhold during a very hot summer and went to the market marketplace there. If you have never seen, if you have never been to Riverhold, the marketplace is very crowded, much more than the comparably sized city-states. <clears throat> People from the countryside flock to the marketplace um, daily in their wagons and carriages. Terran was passing one such carriage and noticed that the sole occ occupant was a woman uh, seated with her eyes closed, closed and her hands behind her head. The odd sight to be sure, but an, an odd sight to be sure, but he assumed she must be sleeping. Um, Taryn continued on. A little while later, after Taryn had finished shopping in the marketplace, he passed the same carriage. The same wooden woman was sitting in it. Her eyes were open now, but her hands were still behind her head. Oh, this, this, this seems a bit scary. Are you all right, my lady? He asked. An arrow shot me in my head, and I'm holding my brains in. Okay. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Came the woman's reply. Taryn did not know what to do. He ran into the into the marketplace and literally bumped into a healer and his night companion. They were oh, this is disturbing. They were good people and agreed to help. The carriage door had to be torn off its hinges as the lady had locked it and feared to move to unlock it. What what they found when they finally could get into the carriage was this. The woman was holding barely dough, barley dough on the back of her head with her hands. Apparently, in the heat of the day, a jar of barley dough had exploded with the, with the thwang of an arrow shot and struck, struck the woman in the back of, of, the, of her head. When she reacted back to feel what had hit her, she felt the dough and, re and reasons that she was feeling her brains. Oh. I'm relieved. <laughs> oh. That's enough of that. I'm not going to read any more books there. No, that's... Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm a bit squeamish about things like that. It's like, oh my goodness, that's disturbing. So, I don't know, maybe. Oh, oh dear. I can, I can never find this woman's book. Is it there? No. There's a little 
book sandwich between these two big books. No, it's not a book. Please find my book. The, you know, the, the thing um, she says is very little. It's not really a well thought out quest. They didn't think to, you know, actually, you know, um, describe what this book looks like or anything. Just find my book. Oh yeah, okay. Let's find your book. Okay, what book does it look like? Who cares what it looks like? Just find my book. You know? What kind of book is it? Well, who cares? Just find my book. Yeah. Bloody moly thought. Back. Anyway. Be so funny if it was right near her. But no, I don't think so. But then you never know. Looks so like these books got messed up. Please find my book. Please find my book. Please find my book. You will receive a nice reward. Oh, I give up. Oh, it just gets so annoying after a while. It's just like... Ugh, I can't find your bloody book. I thought this mod would always help with having all the video like books have book jackets. So then the modded book would be more... It's not bloody here. It's silent book. No, it's not that book. I know it's her diary. Because I've seen... I've seen someone actually can find the book. And... In Sorcerer Dave, he finds the book nearly immediately, and for some reason, and um, yeah, and it's a grey book. I gotta look at the um, look at the uh, let's play again. Sunset. Oh, how awesome. Yeah, I think she's going to be done for the night. I'm actually done. I'm getting tired now. Sorry that I wasn't able to play or do much. Thank you for, you know, um, sitting through all that. Um, it was really awesome of you. Um, and yeah. Um Well met. It's see? Hi. Mari Mari is unconscious for some reason. There are rumors that the Nords are attempting to capture the whole of Solstein. And remove You see that? You seeing that in the corner? The top left corner, Mari Mari was unconscious. So she would have died if had I not put in those essential NPCs. Or made NPC essential. For some reason, there's so many of the, um, I did the, <sighs> oh, I'm so tired. Oh, just gonna go to bed. Call it a day. I'm gonna sleep. Um, sleep for 10 hours. Funny, if, you know, the Dark Brotherhood co comes. You sleep rather soundly for a murderer. Oh dear. That's good. You need a clear conscience for what I'm about to propose. Anyway, save. Not that we've done anything, but save anyway. Hard save and yeah, thank you for watching, guys or guy. Thank you very much for watching. It's great to have someone watch this um, game with me and enjoy these mods with me. Um, yeah, 
Make Oblivion great again. <laughs> uh, that's what I am trying to do. I'm trying to bring Oblivion back to life. Bring the modding scene, make the modding scene more popular again. Because, you know, if I can, uh, if I can play these mods without crashes, well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <sighs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. It is 2 a.m. Oh, but we're in holidays, holiday season, so it doesn't really matter what time it is. <sighs> Dear, I'm so tired. Alright, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Toodaloo. You know, thank you very much. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, see you later.